Radio Sensation. I'm your host, Dan. And on this episode, we're going to be taking a look at the comic War Guard, Viking Berserker, an outlaw comic by Sean Patty. Let's take a look, shall we? Okay, so um, in this episode, I'm going to be looking at Sean Patty's War Guard, Viking Berserker. I first heard of this on the a cartoonist kayfabe episode about outlaw comics. I think most of the comics that uh, it's it's um, Jim Rugg who's really into the outlaw comics uh, and talks about them a lot. And um, they didn't mention which ones were newer and which ones are older. I kind of thought this was one of the older ones. Um, but when I was Googling around, I saw that this is a, actually a new comic. It's an ongoing thing right now. Um, and so... Uh, uh, very expensive to get. So I picked up, uh, at this point, they have three issues. Um, so let's go through them a little bit, okay? All right. Just checking to make sure that was working okay. So this, um, this comic is about a, a Viking named Wargard, and he's the mightiest of all the Vikings, and he goes out raiding with his uh, father, Gorm, and his brother, Ragnar. And, um, you know, he's a philosophical kind of guy. He, he wants to leave uh, the Viking lifestyle behind and, and uh, figure some things out. Um, and uh, sounds all very touchy-feely, but you'll see that this book is not... Um, touchy feely now the thing that makes this um seem outlaw comic is it's one person's vision you know there's one guy doing this and um you know uh the other th and it's published independently and the other thing is the um the amount of detail in some of the drawings so, so much detail in some of the pages it, it very outlaw comics like um, very little in the way of shortcuts or faking or anything. Uh, the love of the details is is uh, evident here. Now, I will say it's a little hard to take this comic too seriously when, you know, you have your uh, protagonist look like this. Obviously, uh, you know, it's, it's, you know, he's looking at a lot of the body, bodybuilding mags of these guys who are on all these special diets and and steroids and 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 you know doing all kinds of special weightlifting and stuff, so not the type of body a Viking would have had, no matter how tough he was. Um, it, it makes it look a little ridiculous in some of the things, but that is in keeping with the outlaw comic thing, where you just want to have it's so insanely over the top masculine that's what sells you on these vikings um you know and uh so they're they're about to go on a uh and raid a settlement that's along a, this river they're on and uh they're getting ready for battle uh the air war guard puts on his helmet um in the meantime off in a peaceful glade there is a um Asian woman who's it's not explained what she's doing there they do say in the description that she's uh they actually say she's Eurasian and that she's a sorceress and her name is Rain He and uh she's got a pet dog wolf they call it um I like that little uh sound effects there sloop looks like it looks very last minute like just pop it in there um and uh you know she's uh he manages to get her in some poses to show off her, you know, she's supposed to be this, you know, she's not dressed very well to be uh, um, someone looking, for, you know, to get into a fight here, but uh, I like the look on the wolf dog's face. Um, they hear screaming and they run back to the settlement. And then here's, a, this is another, you Here's in the midst of the battle, and uh, there's War Guard chopping off a guy's head, and it looks like he's, you know, in the same sweep. It's also 
jammed into the somebody else's spine. Uh, and again, this is a very outlaw comic in the amount of ink on this page. Um, and uh, <laughs> another great face plunk. And then they're, they're going to, his uh, father and brother are going to kill, they're going to take three women with them to for a little uh, thralls, as they say. And then they're going to kill all the rest of the women and they're going to kill the children. And uh, his brother goes, with pleasure, father, but babies first, I think. Now, which child shall be first to suffer the slash of my sword? And um, <laughs> I, I have no idea where uh, uh, Rain he is in relation to this stuff going on. But she's watching them. He, she sees what he's about to do. And she fires an arrow through his arm to stop him. And then she fires another arrow that kills somebody standing nearby, another one of the Vikings. Um, and he goes, bring her to me. And in the very next panel, she's already surrounded and uh, they're capturing the wolf dog. So she doesn't have much of a fight. And then <laughs> uh, they bring uh, bring he to the, the his uh, brother and uh, they've got her down on all fours in front of him in a kind of a weird little pose. Beautiful and brave, but stupid. Yes, brother? And so, uh, you know, he goes, Ragnar, that's enough. Let the girl go. Ha, ha, ha. What? More sympathy for these savages? You disgust me, brother. She tried to kill me. And he's about to kill her. And then his brother knocks him down and then starts pummeling him. And there he is all beat to hell. And he yells at the, the women and children, you're all free. Go now into the forest. That's awful nice of him to come up with that after he's, they've slaughtered every man in the village. But uh, hey, what the heck, better late than never. Um, then they get into a big fight about uh, whether or not he would be able to leave the fight. He's tired of doing this and he wants to be... Uh, they go, you'll end up a pariah like, your, like my brother, your uncle. It's like, ah, you will not break my will. I will not submit. I will defy you. And then he starts slaughtering his uh, fellow Vikings for another big scene. And, and here we go again. And look at that. Look at all that detail. Um, of course, it's black and white, so you know you don't have the color to fill this page. And, uh, you know, he, he still manages to put... Uh, now, this is... I'm not totally against this, mind you, but she is in a heck of a pose, showing off herself. Uh, wow, she's in the midst of this big battle. And uh, so they kill that first group of Vikings. Not all of them, but they've killed some of them. And uh, now it's there's a thunderstorm coming, and he suddenly gets a migraine. He goes, it's the old pain, the mind burn, arg. And he goes, she goes, I'll hold them back as long as I can but they're approaching. Um, her dog is still tied up, the wolf dog. He goes, we have to get to higher ground. Uh, and she goes, I won't leave my dog. And so he grabs her and says, you know, shoot your arrow while I'm, while I'm carrying you. She's like, I'll try. She shoots, sure enough, she hits it. The dog is, dog wolf is free. She tells him to attack. Uh, he looks angry this time. Like um, before when they captured him, he didn't look angry. He, I guess he wasn't in a fighting mood when they first captured him. Um, so there they go. They're running for safety. Uh, they shoot arrows at them. And uh, they're shooting, but she's shooting an arrow back at the same time. This guy has hit uh, a war guard, but uh, she's shot him through the eye with the arrow. There's another pose for her. I don't know where he got some of these poses for her. Um, what do you use for photo reference? I don't have a feeling they were fighting manuals, though. Um, more butchering. Then they fall off a cliff into the water. Um, 
and uh, his brother fell with him, I guess. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on. I like this silhouette where a guy's actually been cut in half. And <laughs> uh, and once again, it kind of seems like they've killed everybody, but apparently not. And there, now it's going to be brother against brother. And that's where that story ends. Then it says in the back here that this, these comics are made from a story that's being serialized in a magazine called Battleground, Battleground Victory Magazine, Sean Patty. Um, and this magazine seems to be all about, um, well, this comic, but also plus art gallery, Sean Patty interview, photo file, collector showcase, and an art demo for... Uh, this uh, painting says how to create a painting in seven steps and uh, yeah so he's, he's made a magazine to promote himself which is pretty cool um, and then uh, I'm not going to go through all this uh, this should have given you a good idea then um, issue two is an epic whole issue length battle between the two brothers. You know, with weapons, they lose their weapons, they keep fighting. Um, and uh, he ends up killing his brother and they're riding off together. And uh, then as they're riding off here on this page, the next page, um, these are pencils. Uh, the, these aren't inked. So, um, it looks a little different. Um, you know, not being inked kind of, um, makes it look, you know, it makes it look a little softer, which is unusual for something that's, um, you know, where somebody's drawing such brutal stuff. Uh, and then issue three, there is almost... This looks very Richard Corbin. Looks like his main influence was like Richard Corbin, Barry Smith, uh, Conan era kind of stuff. Although there's other stuff in here too. But, um, you know, there's almost no action in this third issue. Between that and the fact that, again, it's shot from pencils, um, it feels like quite a different... Now, I don't think, you know, I, I almost would think that he might be shooting from pencils because it was just taking too long to ink this. I mean, that is a ferocious amount. To do the tight pencils he's apparently doing and then to do that incredible amount of inking that he does on it, that is a lot of work. I mean, a lot of work. Um, so... Um, that's all it's done so far. It says in the back that it, you know, uh, you can follow in along in the magazine, the Sean uh, Patty Battleground Victory magazine, um, if you'd like, and uh, and then they serialize it in the comic book form when they've got enough pages built up. Um, so, uh, to be honest. Um, you know, this Viking, you know, the Viking kind of action adventure, this kind of stuff. I like this kind of thing to have more sorcery. I like there to be monsters. I like there to be something inhuman about it. Um, you know, um, so that, that's just my take on it. Because to me, Viking stuff is more like sword and sorcery than... Um, and this, this has... This feels like this. And like I say in the one description... They claim she's a sorceress, but so far, I haven't noticed anything. Um, so anyway, there's the three issues that were available when I ordered. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this look at it. Uh, I only showed this one thoroughly to give you an idea of it. There's a lot of fighting in this one. If that's uh, if you're interested in that, and that's over-the-top kind of brawling action. And then um, there's not much in the way of fighting in this one. There's only like a two or three pages of action in it, and the rest is uh, them hanging out and talking there. That's it, folks.